<laughs> Hi everyone, I woke up sick last night. I mean, it hit me like a ton of bricks. Just sick as a dog. You know when it's gonna hit. Now I had my flu shot, so I don't think it's the flu. And I don't think it's that funny virus that everybody's getting in. Porno virus that everybody's getting in China. But I do have masks too because when I get on an airplane, I wear them because I get sick every time. Uh, I think because I had Lyme disease that I, my immune system has been compromised and I'm very susceptible to germs. And when I get to work, I mean, I disinfect everything, but every time I get on that plane, I get very, very sick. I'll be sick for two whole weeks. There goes my vacation. So yeah, wear the mask if, you, if your immune system has been compromised. Uh, I was able to lose two pounds, but that's, but I'm still, I'm still just grossly overweight to me. Uh, I can't afford to buy the next size clothes. My whole closet is like 80% size 12. Some of it's size 8, some of it's size 9. But it's only because I can't move hardly. So and then the weight just packs on you. Yeah, I mean, I brought all my meds with me, cold pills. Um, brought a whole, another whole box of tissues. I tell you what, wouldn't it be nice if we all had the post office hours? Every they get off at half half a day on Saturday, off on Sunday. I mean, that would, if we all had postal hours, and I do know they work hard because my sister works for them, and she's I'm sure always exhausted. Everybody's out walking their dog today. Ah, the sun is coming. Are trying to peek out. So this is a Chico vest I've had for 20 years, and. I've only worn it once. I thought, you know what? As my daughter says, Mom, quit saving the good stuff for when you're old. You're old now. So everybody, get out those nice towels. Get out that those body lotions you're saving. For what? You could die tomorrow. So use the good stuff now, people. Yeah. Yeah, use the good stuff now. You know, my mom had a boyfriend boyfriend. His trailer is right over there. I never thought my mother would have a boyfriend. Oh boy, did she, did she, 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 he took her everywhere. My father never really took my mother anywhere except to Cherokee, North Carolina, because he was always working. He didn't have sick leave or annual leave. He was a ceramic tile setter. He, he trained way over a hundred people. He mentored but he never did, only towards the end of their lives as a couple did he, you know, start taking her out to dinner. And I'm sure that was from her initiative. Yeah. So, you guys, a lot of you asking me, why does the girls go for the bad boys? Okay. So, I'm going to explain it to you, why us girls go for the bad boys. Actually, we know better, right? We know. We know the difference between a bad boy and a good boy. But this is my theory. It's because you good boys are boring. It's all about boredom. Women do not like to get bored. So, here's how you good guys can get the girls that you want to get. Do something spur of the moment. Something exciting. Uh, do something you've never done before in the bed or take her somewhere you know that she's been wanting to go. And don't go where you always want to go. Do something with spontaneity and write her a love letter. You know, leave rose petals. I once asked, I think, my last fiancé if he would do that and he started laughing at me. Well, he's no longer my fiancé. Yeah. Yeah. Don't never laugh at a girl when she tells you her dreams or when she wants something different. Um, yeah. 
you know, I think the biggest thing to keep a girl's interest is the subtleness. Like if you're out to dinner, just graze her hand or comb, brush her hair. It's these little things that women want. Not, a lot of us don't have to have diamonds like this. <laughs> this is from 40 years of marriage, people, and so is this. People, A lot of people think that's my engagement ring. It is not. It's, it's a ring that my husband had bought me in Jamaica. So it's not that us girls want the bad boys. It's that they keep us our interest peaked at all times. It, it, um, yeah, they're not boring. That is the bottom line. If you're doing the same old thing every day, you, you know, that's not good. You got to shake things up. And that doesn't mean beat her or be mean to her. It just means make things a little bit more interesting in your life. That's why us girls will go to the bad boys first. Yeah. Because they dress a little different, they act a little different, and uh, they usually don't take any crap off of anybody. See, a woman wants a man that is strong, strong-minded, strong-willed, but not abusive and not abrasive, you know. My last fiancé was extremely abrasive. I won't even look at him, I won't even talk to him now. Hi! Well, I made it on my second time working for my new boss. It's a pretty good shift. I'm still learning things. Uh, like I said, I was very sick. I got started getting sick last night, and uh, I'm gonna eat some chicken, or yeah, I'm gonna eat some chicken noodle soup and uh, some crackers and go to bed. Four days off in a row. I don't know what to do with myself. Oh, I know what to do. Maybe I should clean my house. Yeah. <sighs> Housework is never done. I had I had to blow my nose a lot at work. Oh my god. I had to carry on a box of tissues. It's because I don't have my seatbelt on, people. It's not as cold tonight, so my pain level actually got a little bit um, less tonight, thank God. Still haven't gone to the post office. So, yeah, I only like these earrings. They match my shirt. All right. So, I think the three biggest things that's going to bother all of us ba Betty Bo baby boomers is... Uh, let me get my seatbelt on so it'll shut up. Is clutter. Clutter and loneliness... Uh, loneliness is really, really going to be an issue to a lot of baby boomers. And um, not having your estate where you need it to be. You need to do a will. Even if you haven't done one, you can get one offline for free. You can do one yourself. Just notarize it. And also, people, let people know this is something everybody needs to do. Is If you have a lockbox with your will in it or whatever, you've got to put in your passwords to all your bank accounts and stuff because no one can get in there. You know, you need to have passwords into certain things uh, for Facebook or whatever. You, you need to put that in a book in writing and uh, in a real book and put it with your important papers. All right.